How's everybody out there? We are playing Gundam Breaker 3 and things are a little different if you can't tell from the machine behind me. So, all I did in the interim is I didn't progress the story at all. I just went back and re-ran all the original missions on Hardcore to get parts. But, uh, but besides that, I actually figured out how the building system works here and I can show you guys that really fast before we go on. Because it actually is fascinating. So, uh, this is what we got now. Uh, this works really kind of like... Uh, you know, MMO Diablo S style where uh, green is better, blue is, you know, super good, uh, and purple is like the best I've I found so far. I don't know if that's true for everything. That's yeah, just what I found. Okay. So we got a symbol. So, say we have something like the, bing the, the wing Gundam beam saber here that I got, right? Well, there was all those merge options before. In fact, uh, let's do a weapon because, um, so uh, we go to merge. Yeah, pair merge, package merge, plastic merge, and derive merge. I had no clue what any of this crap actually did, because it's like, can be merged with one other part, level up strength abilities, inheritance, and take place. But, what that actually does is, in reality, if you have something that has an ability, you can do this and merge it with this part to upgrade it and keep the ability. In fact, you can even say, uh, no, no, uh, cancel a merge. You can even, uh, no, square, I want to uh, circle. You can eliminate parts because you only carry five parts per one or six, depending on who you're doing. So you can actually carry parts around that one. So if you have a weapon you don't like, you can actually merge it with another weapon of this, another thing of the same type, body to body, gun to gun, so, so to speak, and make it stronger and better to get one you do like, which is cool. So you have package merge, which is just uh, dumping all the things you don't want in it to level up, which, you know, the lower the quality are, the lower it levels up. So that's a thing. Plastic Merge does the same thing, but uh, with the plastics. Uh, obviously, good plastics worth more, low quality plastics worth less. As you can see, the cost to do it goes up each time you do it, so that's why money is actually important in this game. But besides that, uh, you get spears, which I actually found a couple of them. So. This actually does, um, like, gives you uh, better abilities and that kind of stuff, depending on what you can get it into. So, and there's some for other parts. I haven't messed with these too much because I only have two, so I don't want to screw them up and use them early. This is the most fascinating one, Derive Merge. I'm sure people watch other videos and be like, I know all this already, but I don't. So, Derive Merge means I'm using this beam rifle from the Mark II as a base. These are all the parts I can make with that. But, so I can make something I, like the uh, NT-1 beam rifle, the Zeta gun beam rifle, or, oh, uh, uh, the Unicorn beam magnum, sweet. But to do that, you need to have another part. Oh, I didn't have this part last time. Oh, so I can make this. Uh, cool, we'll do it right now. Uh, you need another part. So like, to make the Unicorn beam magnum, I need to have one of these three parts. And then I picked up a ground type, must have been from my last reruns. Sweet, so we got this. Both parts will be gone. Base parts are registered in design plan. Proceed with the environment will lead to an incomplete, incomplete design. Yes, but, oh, we got the beam magnum now, oof. Recharge S, hold for burst fire, and charge shot. Oh, it's so good. And it's really, really strong. So we'll use that next time because I just got some new guns. So I want to—I just got these uh, high energy uh, dual guns. So I want to check those out. But that's how you merge. So by doing that, let's go back to the main setup here. Is able to enhance my beam saber to have a crap ton of damage. Enhance my Gundam head. Derive a Talgi's body, which I don't really like the look of it, but it is my best armor so far. Derive some. Sweet shining Gundam arms. They are not my best arms, but I'm going to use them because I will be damned if I'm not going to get a shining finger and a shining finger sword off in one, in, in one of my playthroughs. Uh, and the rest of the fighting, the laser before, the curved shield, the Gundam backs, but I just upgraded all of them and infused other parts I didn't want to use into them to get better skills. So we have a lot of skills. If you go to here, um, what we have now, we have 49% knockback, parts, damage resistance, shield resistance, step distance, physical... Uh, how do I go up and down? I have so much crap I can't even like show it all. Here we go. We have uh, repair parts. We have, we recover life on a hit. Uh, we, yeah, like break parts repair. We get more stuff like that. We have all, we have all these abilities. It is 
crazy. That's just from the sword. So that's it we get from the gun. So we get from the head, you know, response time, speed up. We get attack back from Tall Geese armor. We get attack back from the Shining Gundam arms. We get hit repair. Uh, physical durability for the legs, backpacks with capacity, all this stuff. So we have a crap ton of abilities. We are doing, oh, that does, you know, I never use those anyway, so not, I'll just keep them off. So that's all. So sorry for the first couple minutes thinking of that one, but that is how it actually works in this game. So going back to rerun all those old missions is actually a good thing. It gives me a lot of parts to figure all that out with. But to the mission counter, we're going to do the next mission, which is just says version up for some reason. So we're in chapter two now. All right, let's see what Misa has to say. Yep, there's our buddy. So I was having a lot of fun actually in the in rerunning all those old missions because like the, they were harder, so it was cool. But I get getting all these parts and figuring out all this stuff was actually super fun. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not liking that tall geese body that much, but it is my best body so far. Like I really want like, like a unicorn body or like a Exia body so we can get like Trans Am or something. Here we go. So we got Shiny Finger and Shiny Finger Sword. Oh. All right, so, ooh, Beam Saber's doing, doing work. Okay, well, I had not used these guns before. That's cool. I've used some other miniguns, but not these ones in particular. So they're quick. But they not they do a lot of little damage, which is fine. So we got a new move with them too. We got the variable shot. Oh, it works for me. Oh well, it's a, he's dead. Jeez. So I guess these things can actually just decimate somebody. Oh, Shiny Finger's almost up. Need to do with somebody who's uh, got a lot of life. And we can't air juggle to death. You. No, not you. You, Shining Finger! Oh! Yes! Oh crap, I should have saved that for the... Uh, Hiyakushiki? Yeah, I should have saved it for that. But I'll take that. Oh, my Mises is getting hurt. I need to uh, heal while well, I, I can. I, it's the only problem with the Shining Finger is that it has like a, I think it's like a B for recovery. So it like, takes a long time to recover it up to get it back. I, I still think, ooh, sniper rifle. What am I missing the most? I still think I'm missing like legs are the things I have got the least amount, but bodies are the things I've gotten the least of uh, that I like. Does that make sense? Like I've not gotten much in the way of good legs. And I've got a lot of bodies, but like all of them are kind of like, eh. And I know I, I checked that the rifle stuff. I can make. A wing zero body with the tall geese one I have, but a mammoth Gundam that that's shiny shiny finger the mammoth. Oh crap! Can I have hijacked the mammoth? I should have checked that out. Oh, gotcha. This is on, this is on the highest difficulty I can I, highest difficulty I can access right now at least, and we're still just like shredding these guys. But I do think it scales a bit because going back to the other matches with the higher machine like this one did not make them all that much easier. Like they were certainly easier. But not like complete like cakewalks.
It's kind of weird that you do that flip every time you use these guns, but these are quick firing, uh, low damage guns versus the other ones where you can just like hold down, charge, and that kind of stuff. So you take your pick. I think I like. I'm probably gonna go with the B Magnum because I like the single shot, like charge up to do for massive damage. Uh, hey guys. We're dealing with Zetas now. Oh, that's a big Zeta. Oh, sweet. Uh, we got our super up. Of course, if this is the second part, you might actually. If I do it soon enough, I might be able to. Uh, super mode. Shining finger sword. Oh, wow. That is absolutely devastating. So you can stay in that mode and launch your attack. I just launch it. I just launch it straight out so we can get it back up, back up faster. Ow! Okay, that was weird. Oh, I lost my arms the second I, I launched it, didn't I? This guy's getting annoying. Whew, okay. Uh, uh, I thought there was something around here, but I guess not. Or he's on the bridge, probably. Got that Zeta beam rifle. If they didn't make it. Oh, Lord. Got him. These, these GMs are the problem. They keep sniping from a distance. Wow, I have no idea what happened there. Yeah, see, we should be able to get um, a shiny finger sword up for the boss, which should break up some parts out of him. Unless another character player randomly pops in, which happens more frequently on the higher difficulty levels. Yeah, see? So they look like something good. I'll use I'll use my attacks on them. Ooh, that's an interesting looking machine. Okay, that was that could have been bad if they actually connected. The guy's not that good. Exia. Oh yes. Too bad. Got him. Ooh, strike to war. Burning legs. Perfect. Yeah, so they drop lots of good parts. And the shining stuff is supposed to, like shiny fingers, shiny fingers, sword, everything, is supposed to uh, help break off parts. Now that I actually know how to like infuse stuff and infuse it quickly, they don't have to worry so much about... Uh, uh, levels anymore because I can just uh, quickly get them up to a better level. All right, so this is this game is really big on the rule of threes, so we should be able to. This should be the last part. We should be able to quickly take it out. Then I can equip my best gear next time. Is that a Titans Mark II?
Yep, those are Titan Martus. Got him. Oh, he just walked right up to me firing his, his cannon. Like, no Fs given. Yeah, they're gonna be running out of gas use person, so I wanna save all, all my moves for the whoever the final person's gonna be. Except heal, we can heal now. Got you, and you're mine. <laughs> Alright, is it, uh, who is it? I don't know, just a Rick Diaz? Alright, mommy. Do you have any guys? Yeah, he's got guys with him. Focus on the, the ads. Because they'll be easy to take out. Alright, so, shiny figure! Oh, he got the purple part. Oh, a head. Oh, well, I could probably do, maybe I can give you something better from it. Oh, ground break. That's you get the good parts. Oh, that was easy and fun. The two best things. Sweet. We got a lot of ace points. I think. I think. Sorry. A lot of money, which is good, because it costs money to upgrade. Next. Okay, so we get... Um, sweet. So we ha if we get G and equip parts, which is just a swan... The... the, the swan owned legs, which is basically uh, that one. We can do that one. Burning Gundam legs. So we can we can Transam now if we want to. Or if we had our own Hiyakushiki. That's alright, but it's not as strong as mine. Uh, other stuff, good rifle, sniper rifle. Ooh, it's a, it's a long sniper rifle. Uh, we see the purple one. It has 27,000 durability. Oh. Hopefully, I can defuse something good from that one. Some Zeta Gundam heads, which are right. Hiyakushiki heads. You know, Hiyakushiki body. Oof. It's not that bad. Strike Noir body. Power extender. What the hell does that do? Boost. Usable even without backpack. Oh, so if I don't have a backpack or I change my backpack to one that doesn't have boost, I still get it. Okay. All right. Uh, all okay stuff. I like I said, if you don't like these, you can you can take the stuff you like out of them into other parts. So that's why I'll hang on to them. Uh, Zeta Gundam legs, movable frame, movable frame, and beam resistant coating. And sure, you have burning Gundam legs, backpacks, whatever. Exio gives me the GN drive, which lets me transam, so I can transam if I wanted to. And I'll pass it. Okay, cool. Taking everything in. end. Is it story time with Misa or Yep. Payment. Thought you were doing this because we were sponsored. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that part. I don't know. Ooh. You must fight it to the death. What an age we live in. You can do VR stuff with models, but she's like, a robot! Testって私たちは何をすればいいの? 
次からシミュレーターに入るときはこいつも連れて行けって勝手に起動すんなよもうしちゃった Well, don't you want to test it? Oh, well, he's gonna go for it. ほどばは理解できるけど、発生機能はついてないんだ。なんで？あくまでおもちゃであるためだ。人の近くにいるロボットの開発ってデリケートなんだよ。特にトイボットは子供の成長にどんな影響が出るかまだわからないからな。なん
and I had to pick. <sighs> okay, release all high um, release all the higher density compressed particles in the GN drive, allowing high speed movement for a fixed period of time. You know, we'll see how it works. If I can always go back to the Tempest Strike. If not, oh, uh, I want to take my. Uh, where is it? Where is it? My Beam Magnum. Which is just as strong as the one I have now, but it can charge up. So we're gonna take our Beam Magnum, which means when you go back here, we lost that. So we got Shot Rain or Mirage Shot. We'll do Shot Rain, it's got an A recharge. That's pretty good to recharge. So Transient takes a long time to recharge, but that's fine, okay. So, this is what we got now. I wish I had a better body, <laughs> both in the game and real life. Because with the tall geese, I could. So you can't, you can't. Uh, that way to prevent to save yourself, you can't merge parts you already have equipped. So if I equip Exia, I get the tall geese, and I would love to to uh, to make a wing zero. If I need a, a wing Gundam or another tall geese, and I. My biggest problem is I don't remember how I made the tall geese armor. It just it, it just happened. I was just screwing around at the time. Okay, so that's where we're sitting right now, and I'm gonna end this one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. So next time I'll probably do two maps. This one I didn't do it as many because I wanted to show you the under the hood stuff about actually building these ones in this game versus the old one because good lord is a deep rabbit hole to go down but it is fun like i'm you would literally like oh, i want that one but i need to get that one and i can if i can divide these two to do that one so i can do this it is way more fun than just being like uh, i'll just kill them to get the till i get the part i want and if not i'll just buy it from the store you know so so far so good i'm still having fun i hope you guys are too um i will get i'm gonna go right to the next one to this one and probably do two missions i'm hoping to get a better body but we'll see but until then, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.